This new initiative, funded by a $2 million grant from the state and from the Alabama legislature, will help us begin to harness genomic capabilities by sequencing the genome of patients from every county in the state of Alabama. This initiative will be truly transformative for the state of Alabama. It will also position us, UAB and Hudson Alpha, at the very vanguard of genomic science and personalized medicine, not only in the United States, but around the world. And so this initiative is uh, more about our state and its citizens and wanting to change the dynamics of health care for the citizens of Alabama more than UAB or Hudson Alpha. It's about using the uniqueness that we have in this academic medical center, the uniqueness in what Hudson Alpha brings to the table to look at laying the platform for precision medicine in our state. Uh, this initial process of sequencing genomes in our citizens eventually throughout the whole county will obviously give us some things we hadn't discovered. But more importantly, it will allow the groundwork to be laid for hopefully everybody in this state to have an opportunity for pre precision medicine in the future as it evolves and as our knowledge grows. We will be recruiting two groups of participants. The first will be people who are not selected for any particular health problem, citizens of the state from around the state, who will agree to have genotyping done, genetic analysis done, where we'll be focusing on 59, which is the current list of genes, that are identified by the American College of Medical Genetics and Genomics as being genes where if a person is found to be a carrier of a particular variant or a particular set of variants, they are at extremely high risk of medical conditions for which we have effective inter interventions. That means we can either prevent disease or improve outcomes by early diagnosis, hopefully in advance of the signs or symptoms. A relatively small proportion of individuals will fall into that category, but for them and for members of their family, it can be literally life-changing and, for that matter, life-saving. We're talking about conditions such as cardiovascular disease, even including potentially sudden death, cancer, and a variety of other conditions. The second group will be individuals who are strongly suspected to have a genetic disorder, but which has eluded efforts to identify an underlying cause, the so-called diagnostic odyssey that plagues many families where conventional approaches to diagnosis have simply not been productive. And so these individuals will have whole genome sequencing, analysis of the entire complement of 22 or so thousand genes, and we expect, based on experience to date, that probably a quarter to a third will realize a diagnosis through this, which means that they can stop that odyssey, that they will now have the ability to at least predict the sort of um, natural history of the condition. It will enhance our ability to offer interventions to do um, management of these conditions, and we hope over time, actually, to develop new approaches to treatment. This is something new. This is really a pioneering effort, as you've heard already, that is, is kind of pushing the envelope. The, the technologies are, are just now here. We could not have done this project five years ago because it was too expensive, too hard, and we didn't really understand the best way to apply those technologies uh, for genomic sequencing and, and all the, the, those that we, um, that we do to understand genomes, understand our entire genetic makeup. But also what's happened is, is our field has advanced, and a lot of that has come from these collaborations with, between our two institutions, so that we know how to interpret genomes better. We take somebody's genetic information, how do you figure out what's important in that? It's a huge amount of information. A huge part of this is computation and data analysis, not just generating DNA sequence. So we're, we're very proud and happy to be able to uh, partner with UAB on this, on this initiative. Our teams at Hudson Alpha have already been working close um, uh, with Dr. Korf and, and, and really a whole network of people throughout UAB, not just people generating data, but figuring out how to do the study, design properly. How do you make this uh, and, uh, benefit people the most? And we are offering citizens of Alabama the opportunity to have leading-edge technology potentially influence them and their family for the better. And the overall goal is to 
prevent disease by knowing about it beforehand. And this will help us lead to new therapies that will be disease modifying and eventually curative. So we are at the beginning of a new era in medicine and the genomic basis of disease is going to be what unravels some of the greatest challenges we face, like Alzheimer's disease, like heart disease, like diabetes, like cancer. So this is a revolutionary initiative for the people of Alabama.